to the video and then realized I didn't have my mic on. I'm doing a little something here for our little fun tonight. But I said, if you are watching the replay <laughs> and you're still here, then you are a trooper because me, if I didn't know me and I clicked this video for the first time, I would have been like, girl, I'm so out of here. Get it together. Get it together. So I want to go over a few quick things before we start. Hello, Cheryl Lee. I kind of missed my hellos for everybody. I'm going to show you here what I'm doing in a moment, but there we go. All right, and I'll explain why. I I had to, I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you. It has something to do with this. So let's put this over. Oh, I was going to toss it, but all right. Okay, so oh, good things are happening in the Inky Studio. There's so many things I want to tell you guys about, but I can't yet. But I will tell you, I will tell you this. I, for lack of a better term, hopped in bed with this amazing, amazing, you guys are going to fall on the floor. Just pick your jaws up when you see this because I have found for you guys, you are going to fall over yourselves when you, found, you see what I have found for you guys. I have found the ultimate embellishment shop, okay? And anything you can even imagine, they have. And it blows all the other ones out of the water. As a matter of fact, I was doing a Zoom meeting with this company and I pulled out this uh, Picket Fence Studios sequins mix, okay? And I told them it was $7.75 um, in Canada. So it's probably what? What do you guys pay for these in the U.S.? I mean, probably between 5 and $6, I'm guessing. Yeah, well, this place has this, like exactly, like these kind of mixes, all right? For $4, make you holla, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm so excited to show you guys this stuff. It's on its way to me. And I got, I'm looking right now at this huge box. I got this new machine. Excited to show you guys that. I finished filming my how to do a floral arrangement. And I'm going to take all of August off now to just focus on my channel rather than taking July off because I'm behind. But shout out to Pink and Main because they have so graciously offered you guys a $25 gift card this month just for watching the little unboxing. I apologize about the audio. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you have to listen to that audio. <laughs> it was way too loud and I was clipping all the way through it. So um, anyway, there's a link down below for that. Okay. With all the instructions classes for next month. I am so excited. I'm so, so, so excited. I'm going to bring you, I'm going to call it master your card making with minimal supplies. So, I mean, I mean, pull out your, your, your duds, all your dud backgrounds, pull out your scraps, pull out your scissors. There'll be no paper trimmers and you know, it's minimal supplies. This is going to be such fun. And as a matter of fact, I'm probably going to show you how to make this card in that class exactly like this. Okay. Minimal supplies. So, I mean, look at these little houses. This is no machine, just scissors. Okay. So we're going to have fun in that one. And then of course, all the other, um, stamp and chat for the buddies and then all the other three videos for the inky besties. One, two two other videos. Th third one would be the Stampin' Chat. So, hello, hello, everyone. Look at all our names here. Look at you guys. It's busy in the house tonight. There's like over 50 of you guys here. I feel so honored. I got to get it together with the audio, right? Um, memberships. Just want to touch lightly on memberships because if when you signed up, you got your free month for July, your payment will automatically come out on August 1st. However, I want you to keep in mind, if you chose, when you bought your subscription, if you chose pay with PayPal after July the 4th, or sorry, before July, la, 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 words are hard. If you purchase your bestie or buddy membership before July 4th and you chose the pay with PayPal button, PayPal is, and I are crossing our fingers. We set up the system properly this time. We're hoping that people that signed up before the system got revamped, it will automatically go through for you. Check your memberships, okay? Because links go live on July 2nd, or excuse me, August 2nd. And this month, 
we've got our free for all and it will be the first Friday of the month, okay? So you do not wanna miss your links for the free for all Friday because I have got something really fun for free for all Friday, really fun. So with that being said, that's all that stuff out of the way. All that jibber jabber, like technical stuff. I am so super stoked about tonight's card. Uh, I really wanted to do next week because I have something incredibly special for you guys. I wanna to touch on also last week. I don't know what YouTube did. We were all here for an hour and 37 minutes. I ended the stream, it said an hour and 30 minutes, I, 37 minutes, I leave it there because I can't really edit it and take out where I wasn't, where I wasn't, I was not having my mic on in the beginning. And the next morning I got up to do my editing and placing ads and all that, that, the other. And I had all these comments, you, what happened, it's two minutes. So if you missed last week, unfortunately, I shall show you what I made. Oh, actually, hold on. We got to do a little bit of this first. So I'll go like this. This is what we made. This cute little truck full of all these dogs because it was National Dog Day. Are you seeing like the little side mirrors there and the little rear view and the little doggy in there and the little pillow that's all bitten up? The little ball floating out. Oh, I guess that's the other side over there. So this is what we made. She's all flocked over here. Uh... This is very difficult when, when you're trying to, everything's backwards. So here, this girl's flocked. She's so cute. But the little wheels, we even um, embossed those. And I did, you guys, after, do the backs of the wheels as well. So if they were reading the back of the card, you would still see the proper wheels and stuff. So that, unfortunately, if you weren't here live, you missed it. So, um... I should, I should, I should make another one one day because that was just way too cute. Um, turn up your volume because I'm up as loud as it can go, honey. I can't go any louder. Um, I could move my mic. I'll move my mic for you. How about that? I'll move my mic just for you. Just for you. Hold on. Thank you, Mary, for transferring your membership to the website. If you are a membership on YouTube, you will get an email in the beginning of the month and it will say, um, did our members play? Did our members play? How come? Oh, there they are. Okay. So you will get an email on um, August the 1st saying if you want your links, you must go over to the website to get them. You have to register and you get a free month. Okay. So don't sign up today because your free month ends at the end of the month because all the links are there for this month. So sign up on the first of the month. Even if, if you are, um, wherever you're from, you get a free month. All of August will be free for you, okay? And then your, your, your membership doesn't really commence until September, okay? And I do, I am planning, I've been having so many of you guys ask me if I'm planning on doing like the three, six and 12 month uh, bundle um, discounted membership. And yes, I am planning on doing that, okay? So that is on my to-do list for August. All right, so tonight, I'm by myself. Todd is in Halifax at the National Ipsic um, competition. Um, so that's where Todd is. He flew out on Tuesday, and at least I'm not alone. I'm here with Ola and Nikolai, and um, today is Ola's birthday, as a matter of fact. So... We shared in birthday cake and sushi dinner and stuff last, uh, before Todd left. And we got her an ice cream cake as well. Oh, and I wanted to mention too, um, no, Cynthia, it is a SVG. But I wanted to mention, because I haven't mentioned anything about my Weight Watchers journey lately, because it's just been, I've just been, it's been depressing. But I've been having some success the last two weeks. I'm at 6.8 pounds down. I got my five pound charm. So yay, what, what, ooh, ooh, so excited. And if you don't care, that's okay. You don't have to care. But you know what? If anybody's kind of trucking along with me, um, actually, one of you sent me a thing on Fitbit, a challenge. And I haven't got any more information about it. I don't want to say your name just for privacy purposes, right? But tonight, I have to say this once, and I'm going to say it quickly, but I'm using this tonight it is on the way out the door at My Favorite Things. There's a link for it for My Favorite Things and a link for it for Simon Says Stamp. At My Favorite Things, it's $4 right now, okay? 
And um, there is so, there's, I can't even tell you how many things right now are in the uh, retirement or clearance, whatever, sales section. Um, the dies for these are gone, but you know what? They're, they're pretty easy to fussy cut. I used my brother machine. I'm going to use these. I'm going to use Sweet Celebration. This is not on its way out the door. This is just a regular old stamp set, and I got a nice piece of hair in there. So this one, the reason I'm using these is because it is, I don't want to say it wrong. It is, let me say it the right way. I'm, I'm thinking, is it the way I'm thinking it in my, my mind? It is National Teddy Bear Day. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> National Teddy Bear Day. So I thought this one I'm going to use on a different card. This one I'm going to use, but I've already cut out all my little guys here. So this piece of paper, if you've ever seen my how to um, not restick your mat, but how to make sure your stuff sticks every single time video, you'll know that it's a little bit tacky. They're not too, too tacky anymore, but I placed it on a piece of paper so that I could color these, okay? So I'm gonna color them and wait until you see what I have in store for you for the backgrounds on these. I foiled, all right, pattern paper. So if you don't have a foiling machine, don't run away on me yet. Don't, don't give up yet, okay? Because you can emboss over top, right? So all is not lost. Now I've got my markers out. I'm going with blues and oranges because I, I went with blues and oranges. So I'm going to kind of, I'm going to get a little piece of paper here to put underneath for coloring. I'm going to kind of go over my coloring here. I, because I've already done my backgrounds, um, I thought, why not color with you guys today, right? So I might even, oh, look at that. Oh, and look at that. There's my kit.co. <laughs> so there you go. All right. And this one, I <laughs> stamped him. And he was still a little dirty, but I thought that's okay because I can position him per per perfectly and that didn't happen. So then I had to clean him and stamp him again. But I am going to use here E35. And you probably can't see these because they're over there. I'm, I'm not Chrissy Gets Crafty. Chrissy Gets Crafty is like the ultimate. If you just like to watch somebody color, you know how you like to watch Christina Werner just paint? It's just so satisfying and soothing. Well, if you ever want to watch someone just color, Chrissy gets crafty. E35, E37, and E39. I just came up with this combo the other day, and I am loving this combo for bears, all right? So teddy bears, I was kind of struggling to find teddy bears. And this one, um, actually, I bought an extra one of these uh, back last month. I bought an extra one of these. Um, I wish the price had been as good, but that's okay. I bought an extra one for the giveaway. So you'll want to um, watch for that. And the other thing I wanted to tell you guys too, if you are a member of my website, you never have to worry about um, whether or not you were there for the Stampin' Chat to hear your name called for the prize. Because when you're a member, I have your address because you sign up on the website and I can just send you your winning, your little, your stamp set or whatever the heck it is you win, right? So there's another good reason to sign up on the website because you never miss out on a freebie. And even if I call your name um, in a regular video or whatever, I will always take care of my besties and my buddies and you guys never have to worry about claiming because I will just automatically send it to you. So how cool is that, right? Your little 10 days, you don't have to worry about it. So I'll have to keep mentioning that when I do my videos with giveaways because it is kind of a nice little perk bonus for you guys. So I'm, I'm creating my shade at the top of his head. So funny, I have to tell you guys, I was with Kimberly when I, stamp, when I pulled out this stamp set and I was like, why does he have a picture? And then I was like, oh, Wait, I thought it was a picture hanger, like he was supposed to hang on the wall, <laughs> on the top of his head. You are welcome, Ruth. So yeah, if you are part of the website, I'm going to go through, I have to do mailing here tomorrow, okay? So tomorrow's my mailing day. If you have a giveaway um, coming to you, it's probably coming out tomorrow. But I'm going to go through my basket 
and anybody who is on my website, I'm going to print out my list and anybody's name who's in there that is on the website, a, a channel member, they will get their gift mailed to them. And I know there's a couple names in there that are probably here tonight. Actually, I see one name right there. So I'm not going to tell you who you are. You're just going to get a surprise. And I am not even going to try to tell you when you want it because, dude, seriously, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just, I take the little names out, you know, like I pull them out and I tape them to the present or the whatever it is you won. I don't know when it was drawn. I don't know why, whatever. So you'll just get it in the mail and you'll go, oh, look at, I won a stamp set or I won. And if it's dies, they're standalone dies, by the way. I don't, um, I don't give you guys dies that are part of like a stamp set or something like that. Right. So but yeah, these guys, they're so stinking cute. And I like the little sentiments that go with these guys. So I'm really liking this new bear combo. And these particular markers happen to be like super juicy too. So that makes life a little nicer and easier. So if you went to my Copic Coloring 101, you kind of know my process here. Or if you've been around my channel for any length of time, you know my process for coloring. But... I am going to um, probably in October, I think is going to be Copic Coloring 102. And that is going to be um, basically, let me grab something so I can show you. One second. It's going to be basically, I'm just trying to figure out where, okay, here's a couple right here. Perfect. I'm going to kind of go over more how to do this when you're coloring. Okay. It looks like a dang printed image. All right. Here's another example. So we're going to go through how to do these things. Like you see this hair, who's got time sometimes for all that fancy hair coloring. This is just easy. I can tell you how I do that. And here's another one. And even her hair here. And I should probably make sure I find some images that are like that so that you guys can follow along. But I mean, even this little guy here, all these little dots and things, how I do that. Um, yeah, so Copic Coloring 102 is basically going to be a step up from Copic Coloring 101 because that is basically how to start with Copics, how to pick your colors. Um, everybody got it, two templates. One was, um, actually I'll show you. And I'm going to give these in the second class as well. Okay. So if you haven't taken Copic Coloring 101, it's, um, alcohol ink markers on my website, but everybody got, uh, this chart. Okay. So you could kind of put all your markers down on there and you got one of these charts. Okay. Cause this I made and then you can start making your color combinations. So I'll go over some of my color combinations as well. I should probably, um, maybe, maybe if I'm feeling really ambitious, I'll, uh, type them up for you guys. So yeah, but anyway, I'm thinking probably in October we'll do that Copic coloring 102. I find that I don't get challenged too much with these you know, my favorite things images because they're, they're very basic, but I will go over these as well because these are kind of mostly what people are coloring, right? So here, I'm going to guess he's got, I'm going to just do here his body and his arms and his, t his feet. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you, Nikolai, the things he comes out with, his wife, he asked me the other day if I have a foot, a foot bath. And I said, as a matter of fact, I do. He's like, yeah. I said, yes. His wife gives him his little manicures and pedicures, right? So I pulled out the foot bath two days ago. You know, those little spa things you stick your feet in, you know, on the floor. So he thought he died and went to heaven. He was like, oh my gosh. So they went out yesterday and uh, Ola bought this little pedicure kit. So Nikolai got like the ultimate little pedicure from his wife yesterday. So today he's sitting outside, we're on the deck after dinner, soaking up a little bit of the sun and he stretches his legs out. He goes, look, look, look my fingers. 
And I said, no, no, those are toes. He goes, no, fingers. I said, no, fingers, toes. He goes, no, in Ukraine, ha arm fingers, leg fingers. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So in Ukraine, they call them arm fingers and leg fi fingers. I had a good laugh on that one. It was hilarious. I'm like, no, no. And he's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, they're toes, honey. So he got his leg fingers manicured yesterday by Ola. So today is her birthday. And I said, um, is it customary for you guys, you know, to give a card or something? Because, like, I felt bad he didn't give Ola anything for her birthday. Um, thank you, Cynthia. But uh, I said, come downstairs. I said, we'll pick out a card. And I gave him one that um, it's I've made a whole bunch in the this little series. But anyway, this one had a little giraffe in it. It's a MFT giraffe. And it says, you bet giraffe, I love you. And on the inside, it says, um, you're, you'll always be my sidekick or something to the effect of that. And it's funny because we had just been talking <clears throat> earlier or yesterday about them being best friends and sidekick and, you know, your number one person. So it was kind of suiting. So I gave it to him and I said, okay, you write in that and give it to Ola. And he stood here, down here for... I don't know, a good five to seven minutes writing. So I don't know what he wrote in there, but um, I came upstairs. I let them kind of have their moment and I came upstairs and he says, okay, I, I don't realize how special something simple is. I'm like, yeah. He goes, now, Ola, tell me, uh, postcard all the time. <laughs> I said a card. But anyway, he was, he was, uh, he was surprised at how meaningful it was. But Ola kind of fawns over my cards as it is. So for her to get not one but two cards today for her birthday, she was rather excited about that. So this little guy, I might as well color him while we're at it, right? Anyhow, happy birthday, Ola. Yes, she's very shy. Um, she's starting to talk more... Um, English though, which I'm really proud of her. She's really starting to talk a lot more, uh, talk more English. <laughs> Hopefully she's not trying to learn English from me. She's talking more in English. So I'm proud of her because I, I said, when you're in the home, uh, like in the main floor, like with the, you know, Todd and I are together, or whatever, you should try and force yourself to only speak English. But it's, it's not that she doesn't do no English. Like she's really been working on Duolingo and it's not that she doesn't know it. She's not confident to speak it, you know, and they, they have a hard time with some of the, like, you know, the 10th <laughs> and Todd, Todd is Todd, <laughs> but just, they, 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 ha they speak with such a strong tongue, you know, so um, she's just not confident sometimes and I'm trying to build her confidence so that she speaks more because it'll get her, get her to where she needs to be a little quicker. Right. So anyhow, yeah, okay, so I'm trying to concentrate here because this is a, um, uh, YC image. Um, it's one of the, it's not Stacy Akula S Y. I don't think, no, it's not Stacy Yakula. I don't buy Stacy Yakula stamps, not because I don't think they're cute. I do think they're cute. But if you've ever read the <clears throat> MFT angel policy, you are not allowed to sell your cards with Stacy Yakula stamps on them. So you cannot color those images and then sell the card. And it's my intention when I make a card to put it up on my website. Whether that happens right away or not, you guys know, <laughs> it's usually not right away. But um, sometimes it takes a long time to get it up there. But nevertheless, I don't buy them. They are cute, cute. So this one I don't believe would be a Stacy Akula. I'm going to give them a little bit of shading over here because it's kind of like he would have some shading here. And this little pink thing... I was using those little, um, <laughs> like those little 
finger band-aids. Um, but I found that my nail would go through them and I didn't know. And then I'd have ink there anyway. And I saw these at the dollar store and they were much longer. So I just cut them so that they just fit on the tip of my finger. Um, yeah, so I should probably even maybe put a little slit here because it's a little bit tight, but it's better than getting all of that ink underneath my fingernails. I don't like that because while these are my nails, I do get um, an overlay put on them. So there, there's, you can get the ink in between the two. And I don't like that, right? So anyway, storytelling time here while I'm coloring. I hope you're enjoying my stories. They do celebrate birthdays, Karen. But um, I think that Ola was trying to uh, relieve um, Nick of having any undue stress today he went for his driver's exam yesterday and he failed it so he was very stressed out today he wanted to go do the exam again right away he wanted to go take it again and I think he was trying to study and he was thinking about going to take the exam and I guess it's customary that um he buys her flowers on um her birthday so he said, you know, I'll get you flowers. And she's like, no, 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 not today, not today. And I think she was just trying to be cognizant and considerate of the fact that he was a little bit stressed out today. So even I could tell such a difference in his demeanor. And I'm going to tell you, if I had to take, and I bet you, there's, I want to see some thumbs up here and a thumbs up on the video <laughs> while you're there. But I want to see some thumbs up for people who agree that if you had to take your driver's test tomorrow, you would probably fail. I would probably fail. I took a driver's test like when I was bloody 16 years old. So I would probably fail. So I told him, don't be hard on yourself because it's a different country. You know what I mean? Da, 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 da. So he went today. It's $264 every time he has to go. Okay. Because you have to pay $180 for the class five advance. And then $80 to have the vehicle because they make you pay for that. And then all these other fees, taxes, da, 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 da. So it's $264. So he says, we're in the car today. I asked Ola if she wanted to go to the dollar store with me. And oh my God, like I almost pulled out my camera. I almost pulled out my phone and did a quick IG for you guys because, oh my God, I hit the mother load today at the dollar store. But anyway, um, she says, yes, yes. So I, my plan was to go way in and then go to the dollar store. So we're getting ready to go. And Nicol Nikolai says, uh, you wait five minutes. And I'm like, um, why? <laughs> he goes, I, I change. I'm changing. I said, oh, I said, you're coming. He goes, well, yeah. I'm like, okay. All right. So go, go get changed. So I go way in and we go, I'm getting driving over there. And Nick goes, uh, I, I, I'm going to take my driver's test. And I'm like, okay. So he goes, um, how about, uh, 1030? I said, okay. So I said, I'll drop you off. And we got to the dollar store at about, I don't know, 10 to 10. And he was all, oh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go over now. And I'm like, oh dude, where'd the little thingy go? I'm like, okay. So he took his driver's test again today. And I was thinking, dear Lord, if there's a God, please let him pass because he's just so stressed out about the whole thing. Right. And he passed. So yay. Super excited. Oh, look at this. So I was playing cap roulette, I guess. So, um, why 18 will have a 15 cap. There it is. Okay. So we're using why 15. Look at this. Look at this. This is disgusting. Cindy Lynn. I need to do some marker care. But the problem with marker care is it's like a literal, literal all day. It would take me all day to do marker care. 15, 16, and 9, the YRs, okay? So I'm going to do these guys the exact same way I did the bear because, of course, um, I'm going to play around here. I don't know if you see where I'm going with this, but I'm going to play around here. How come these are rolling everywhere? And I've got a little bit of fun here for this card. And then the foiling. I can't wait to show you guys that. So 
scale failed twice. Oh my gosh. Oopsie. That, that was the wrong color. That wasn't what I thought I had in my hand. I thought I had this one in my hand. Oops, a daisy. I'm probably, I'm going to leave the star because afterward I'm going to come back with some stickles in the star. Probably, um, I don't know what color. I'll, I'll do it once. Why are you guys rolling? Did the table get like, you know, is the house sinking or something? There we go. There's that one. And then I'll color the, oh, I can't color the balloon orange. I could probably do blue and I got to pull out a yellow. I forgot. I have to do a yellow and a blue balloon because this guy is going on a different card than these guys. So when I started this um, adventure last night, I was thinking, well, if I'm going to make one, I might as well make two, you know. So that's how this came to came to life. And here we are only 24 minutes after and we're almost we're almost there. So look at all the thumbs up. Wendy, 50 years ago, I'm I'm almost there, honey. I feel you. I feel you. I would not pass. I don't think I would pass. And interesting enough, interestingly enough, in Europe, you get a license and you can go from Poland to um, Switzerland to you can go wherever and your license is European. So you just carry the same license. So he says, um, cause they have a work visa, right? For three years. So his license, I, I don't think will extend past the three years, but he goes, Oh, I said, well, then you'll have to just, you know, get your new one. Once you apply for status, he goes, I, I do test again. I said, no, once you've done your test, you never have to do the test again, unless you move to a different province because there's, um, Canada, a lot of provinces have this thing now, I guess, where if you have not taken a driver's test since 2002, then they make you do a driver's test again. So, um, but that's specific for their provinces. So I don't know. I don't know. I said, just don't leave Alberta because number one, you'll break my heart. I mean, I don't want you to go. And number two, then you never have to find out. So there's that. Now let's get our blue out and we're going to do his pants and um, the big balloon here. So we'll do light here. I think I can do both pants at the same time we go and this one is sorry I haven't been telling you my colors I will tell you my colors here as soon as I pull these ones um, put these ones back this is BG two five and seven and the oranges are YR are 15 16 and 9 I think I did tell you those ones actually so I'm not as far behind as I thought or as you know you know words are hard I'm not as far back on telling you marker colors as I, as I thought I was. So this blue here is the closest I could get to match the cardstock. So I wanted to kind of bring out a little bit. And blue, brown, and orange go together so beautifully, which is very fortunate for me because... Oh, I forgot to do this one up here. Um, Todd's bedroom set was a king set when we met. And mine was a queen, so obviously we're going to use his. And his bedroom set is not something I would have bought, but it's all dark wood because all the wood in our house, like the stairs, you know, the railings and like all the accents and, you know, trims and fancy stuff is all dark brown. So he bought dark, I don't know, chestnut or whatever it is. I don't know. I don't buy that stuff. So the bedroom, brown. And I'm like, okay, well, blue, blue goes with brown. So I start adding blue accents to kind of brighten it up. And orange, I tied in because I wanted flowers and, you know, some nice frilly things. Some of you guys have seen my bedroom in my vlog channel. But fortunately for me, orange is, uh, goes well with blue. And I'm just thinking here, if I want to, I'm going to put my thing after when you've got your balloon, just a tip for you guys, when you've got your balloon here, okay, you can go in and you can start by creating something like this, right? 
and then you've got your little shiny part if you will but I'm going to go in with white afterwards so these ones here I'm going to do a little darker down at the bottom because of course this they would be shading him there's nothing really shading this because this is going to be in the sky so I'm going to go from the bottom get this nice and saturated so the more saturated it is the easier it is to blend in your next color, right? So what else can I tell you guys? What else has been going on here in my life? Um, hmm, I'm trying to think. There's so much going on with Nikolai and Ola. I think they'll be here into the new year. I'm hoping anyway, because um, Nikolai was talking one night about um, apartments, and Ola was saying that um, there's an area near us that's really nice. It's kind of trendy, you know what I mean? And I said, yeah. So I was trying to help her look online and um, I actually could even get them a showing at this one place. And then Nikolai was talking about, you know, um, buying a car, you know, yada yada. So anyway, I go, I go to go to bed and Todd says to me, he says, why are you helping them find an apartment? Like, why are you doing that and trying to get bookings? I'm like, because uh, I'm trying to be helpful. He goes, well, do you think maybe you might make them feel like you are trying to promote them leaving and wanting them to leave? And I'm like, oh, I didn't really think of it that way. He goes, yeah, don't you think it would be smart for them to have a job <laughs> before they get an apartment? I'm like, well, yeah. So I ran downstairs and I said, I hope you don't think that I'm helping you do that because we want you to leave. Because Todd and I had a conversation a little bit deeper than what I just said. But I said, basically, um, if you guys want to buy a car, get a job, and then save up some money. Because they have enough money saved that they could buy a decent car. I said, then you want to save up, you know, and build up your, your savings again. Um, you can stay here till next year for all I like you're welcome and Nikolai's like yeah and he's telling her in in Ukrainian what I'm saying I'm like yeah I mean you're welcome to stay here for as long as you need you know so that's the new plan the new plan is I'm so happy it's like I'm so happy it's like having roommates in a way but you know it just it feels so good um you know, when Nikolai's like, you know, thank you so much for this or that or whatever it is I'm helping him with. And it feels good, you know. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm in, I'm, I'm in Happyville. They can stay as long as they damn well please. Okay, so yellow. Let's go with two, six, and eight. Why two, six, and eight? Because I've got, now what I want to do is go very very light blue here I don't want to go the dark blue in where the balloon kind of crosses over right in there because I'm going to go over that with the um, yellow I was going to go over it with yellow but um, oh my god it said numbers are hard Elizabeth that is funny that would be me numbers and numbers and words I mean numbers are so hard that I had to buy a ruler that has them all all the measurements on there for me you can focus anytime now camera come on there you go so this is in my kit.co if you are like me and need one of those because that is a lifesaver for me I tell you what yes numbers and it's so funny because people are like how on earth did you become a nurse I'm like dude it's easy if she's, if he or she's skinny, they don't get a lot of morphine. If they're big, they get lots. <laughs> Just as a joke, of course, right? And of course, you need math on your entrance exam, but you don't need calculus and, and like a, Y plus B minus X equals what squared to the square root of like, oh my God, no. I, I my brain does not do that. It's like you read a you read you read a chart, you read your CCs, you 
lotus syringe or you you know somebody needs a hundred grams of this and there's or 50 grams of it and there's only a hundred grams you cut it in half like it's only basic math come on so it's like be nice <laughs> be kind I'm not great at math, but you uh, you don't really need, especially with, with where I was in geriatrics. I mean, I can't imagine um, at, at what stage you would need a lot of math in nursing. So I, I kind of went out of the lines a little bit here, and I should have um, used my zero to push it down before I brought in my yellow because now it's a little bit... Um, yucky there but I am going to go over that part there okay so there's that I only have left my little I don't know what I'm going to do with my little thingy here my little whatchamabobber unicycle the little uni oh my god you guys today Ola she was recording me at the dollar store she's like oh 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 and she's recording me she thinks it's so funny right I'm like okay I should have Instagrammed that but um I totally lost my train of thought now. I totally lost my train of thought where I was going because I was thinking of something and then Ola came to mind. Oh, I didn't color this bear's ears or his belly. Okay. And a tip, if you have a brother and you have to um, make your lines a little darker for it to pick up, it's always easier to erase them when it's still in its little frame here. Okay. So let's just do these ears really quick. What was I going to say now? I totally lost my whole train of thought. Oh, this is a tight little area. There we go. On this side. I'm not going to go too, too heavy dark on these ears. Just a little bit of the 37 with the 35. What was I saying? Oh, it's funny, when I was little... Um, you always had to wait so long for the adults to say, okay, now you can speak. Cause you'd try to speak and it's like, wait, no interrupting. And then you'd wait and wait and wait. And then by the time they finally said, okay, what do you want? It's like, I forgot. My grandmother, she'd always say, must've been a lie. Couldn't have been important. And I'm like, Nana, it wasn't, it was important. Must've been a lie. Couldn't have been important. And I'm like, no, it was important. I just don't remember what it was. Cause you guys made me wait so long. Okay, there's that. Now, his little belly. I think for the belly, I'm going to look in a minute. I'm going to color these little guys first here. And these guys, these guys, they'll have shading on the top because you'll see why. You will see why. I went to the dollar store today, and I haven't been in a while, and Ola, she thinks it's so funny recording me, blah, blah, blah. But my dollar store... <laughs> I call it the $50 Rama because it's like the dollar Rama. If you, if you have a dollar Rama, you understand what I mean. Nothing's a dollar. It's all $2, $3, $4. This is C3, 5, and 7. My total today was 112 or something like that. And I think Ola bought like four things from the snack department. I don't even go down the food aisle. But I had to go back because I wanted to find a backsplash for here. And I found the backsplashes. And then I was like, dude, I can go buy them at Home Depot for that price. <laughs> so by the time, like, because they sell them in ones. And Home Depot has them in threes. So by the time I buy three of yours at four whatever dollars it is. And then, you know, times three, it's like, ah, whatever. I could have got the Home Depot ones. So what I got instead for, because... When I throw my, um, you guys can't see right now, but I have a, I don't know, little thing that you stick like files and stuff in. It's actually quite nice. I showed it to you guys once. Um, I got it at HomeSense and it looks like it's alcohol inked. But when I put my plates in there, my plates are hitting the wall and making it yucky. So I bought this, which is like plasticky. I think it's liner for something. But I was like, it's got the greens from my wall. So I'm just going to kind of put it straight across the wall, you know, down at the bottom. Um, yeah. So I'm thinking that might work, you know, protect my my poor little wall. Uh, what color is this one? C3. Okay, good. Protect my poor wall from all the banging and whatnot that's going on there. 
So, um, what else has been going on here? Bella's got Nikolai wrapped around her little paw. She's so funny. I tell you, if I go upstairs because it's the doorbell, you know, my Amazon boyfriend. Oh, I told, I told Nikolai he's not allowed to work for Amazon in, in my area. I said, if you get a job with Amazon, you're not allowed to deliver here. He's like, why? I said, because you can't be my boyfriend. And he started laughing. But anyway, Bella will run upstairs, no problem. She'll use the stairs, no problem if there's a reason. But most of the time, she's like a crybaby. And she will cry and whine and cry. And Nikolai always, and then he carries her like a baby. like on, And she's on her back in his arms. She won't let me put her on her back. But she has got him wrapped right around her little paw. I tell you what, she gets whatever she wants from that, that boy, that man. Yep. Uh, what else going on? The car is good. Enjoying the car. I, I kind of get a little bit anal when it gets dirty and stuff now though. And oh, I tell you, you don't want to go and buy a vehicle that you should put premium fuel in during this era because premium fuel is, is kind of a bit of a killer. Holy Moses. So now I'm kind of a little bit more conscious how I drive and I'm playing this game with my car because when I got it, the previous owners, their fuel economy was 11.8 liters per 100 kilometers. I've got it down to nine. My car was 8.7, a Ford Focus, okay? And now I have the um, Lexus NZ, I don't know what the hell it is. Anyway, um, it's, a, it's a sport utility vehicle and I'm only 0.3 away from getting the same fuel economy as my dang Ford Focus. I'm like playing this game now. So I never accelerate too quickly from a stop, like when I'm stopped. I have it in eco, so I'm trying to like, you know, I'm like, I'm I'm all grown up now because I have a Lexus. So I'm gonna drive like I'm grown up and responsible. <laughs> One can pretend, right? So has has the spending freeze been working? No, not really. Oh, thank you, Rhonda. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're getting, we're, I can see the home stretch here. So it's kind of fun though to actually color and just kind of chat with you guys. I really didn't plan on chatting, but then it just kind of turned out that way because what am I going to do? Put on music? And frankly, I've done that a few times in my videos and I'll tell you why because I get lazy sometimes. Okay. Because editing is, it takes a lot of work to talk all the way through when you're coloring. So I put my music on sometimes and I'll tell you when I used to watch, I used to watch so many card making videos and whatnot channels. And when I would see people do that, I'm like, no, don't do that. I hated it. Especially Debbie Hughes. <gasps> oh, thumbs up. If you know who Debbie Hughes is, and I, I haven't watched her since before Christmas, but this one's kind of a little bit leaky. But uh, when I watch her, I always get so bummed when she goes, okay, I'm going to put on some music and I'll be, and I'm like, no, I just want her to talk to me while I watch her. Like, ah, uh, so satisfying watching that woman paint. I've recreated um, a couple of her cards. I, oh, one day when I grow up, I want to be just like her. So I remember I always used to say that about Laura Basson too. And it's like, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of almost grown up in the, in the Laura Basson, um, category of the world. You know what I mean? But I'm nowhere near as grown up as that damn Debbie Hughes. You want to, you want to learn how to do some gorgeous watercolor painting and distressing. That's the girl to watch. That woman is incredible. Do I see thumbs up? Joyce knows who she is. Yeah, Debbie Hughes, D-E-B-B-I-E, -E, Hughes, H-U-G-H-U-G-H-E-S. <laughs> Words are hard. So um, it's her, her uh, Lime Doodle. Lime Doodle Designs is her Pinterest, okay? So she's from the UK. She's absolutely incredible. I mean, oh, I just, I just could watch her for hours. And that's how I learned how to watercolor just by watching people. And now I got to tell you, now that I'm collecting those Tombos and did you see Tombow 
the, the, you know, it's like, ugh. I should just unsubscribe from every damn company because I get an email from Ranger, or excuse me, uh, Tombow. You know, there's a sale and their markers are damn half off and I'm kicking myself and I should have been more diligent because the whole website was half off and I should have been more diligent looking for that marker storage thing because I saw the marker storage thing on Instagram and I was like, yeah, gotta have it. And I looked for it and I couldn't find it. And I was like, well, maybe they don't have it yet. Maybe it was just kind of like, look at what's coming. And I saw it on Instagram yesterday and I was like, or today, one of the two days. And I was like, Ugh. I was so like, cause you can put the little strips of color and you know exactly where every marker goes because you just, you have a here and you're just like, and after a while, it's going to be muscle memory. You're going to know, right? Cause you're going to have your go-to's. But I was like so freaking bummed that I didn't force myself to look harder to buy it. But nevertheless, okay, so this is what we're going to do. We are going to put an elephant here on this little thing. And then he is going to sit on the elephant. Okay. Now, I told you that I did some foiling on pattern paper. So I chose this one and I wanted to show you here so you can get a really good idea. Now this one here, I don't remember what it's called. It's something very specific. It's linked down below. But this one, now I've talked about some of them having a little bit of an issue that I've been having with getting a good transfer. This one is an amazing transfer. It is awesome. So this is what it looks like on pattern paper. Okay. So it's subtle. It's not too busy, but it's pretty, right? So there's that one. And then I was like, I, that was the second one I did. I st or no, the first one I did. And then I was like, I really want to do one with blue. So I did one with the moon dust and I am loving the moon dust. So I couldn't decide which one I liked better. So I figured, you know what? We'll just do two cards. So I'm thinking here, what I'm going to do is... This is going to get tricky, but, oh, wait, I have that new pen, that new maca right here. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, let's see. This here are these um, pen touch. I love pen touch. The only problem with all these paint markers is after a few months, if you don't use them regularly, you know, they just dry up, the tips dry up, and then you're just kind of, you know, pooched on it. But I'm going to... I, this is part of my unboxing that I got at the um, craft yard sale at the craft store. So paint store, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to go right in between here. And I want a nice silver wheel. I could have colored it in black, I suppose. But oh my gosh, I am so unsteady. Oh my gosh, Cindy Lynn. I don't know if you guys can see I'm butchering this. But I'm going to go back after with a um, marker <laughs> and maybe butcher it some more. Who knows? Okay, can I do a better job on the other one? Let's see. I just want to do a good job. Let's, oh, and in the middle. Okay. Maybe I should just color right over top of the black lines. I don't really want to. Okay, I did a better job on this one, but I kind of butchered this one, so let me fix it. I'll show you how to fix that. It's easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let me just tighten up my little silver here. There we go. All right. So you can fix it with a black marker. And then you just go back and put black over top of it. But I got to get the right size. I need like a three. And I don't know what happened to all my threes. Oh, no, no. Oh, come on. I need a three. Uh, that's a 0. 0.5. That's a 0. 0.3. Okay, let's look over here. We need a 3. Is there a 3 in the house? Uh, let's see. What is this marker? I think this is a... Th oh, wait. What's up here? 0. 0.3. Well, I guess 0. 0.3. 0. 0.3 is really small, but that's okay. So I'm just going to go... Oh, this is a Copic Multiliner. No, 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 no. I'm not using my Copic Multiliner. Those are expensive. Let's go with the 0. 0.5, I suppose. Yeah, this is, here is a 0. 0.5. So I'm just going to go... And I'm just going to kind of go over where I went out of the lines with the silver. 
and then it won't be as noticeable okay I should just do the whole th I'm gonna do this wheel silver hold on this one I'll fix but this one I just went I went way too far out of the lines so I'm just gonna go make the whole thing silver I was very unsteady with this there we go let's go right over the black and then I can do the spokes as well there we go that's much better and then this and I'll do the spokes one two three I guess I could have made the wheel black and then traced over all the spokes that would have made sense too. I'm going to leave this one as is. I'm not going to touch it anymore. Okay. And you know what would be cute here too? Put a little gem in the... Oh, his hat. Dang. Orange. I kind of thought like his hat was more like a picture hanger, right? So I kept... I totally forgot the hat. So let's do the hats in orange. Uh, we'll put a little shading up there. And then the little bobble on top, I'll just do with... Um, Oh, if I had orange flocking, I'm going to look. If I have orange flocking, I'll just put orange flock on it because that would be like super cute, right? All these little ideas I get afterward. Getting yellow under, orange under my nail already, but that's okay. Nail day's tomorrow. No, not this one, this one. Forgot his hat. And I actually think I will go in. I'll show you guys too how to do it. I'm going to go in with um, one of my Sakura little sparkle pens and I'm going to put some blue little dots in his hat. So I think I have blue flocking so we can put blue flocking on his hat there. That might be a good idea. Okay let's not play cap roulettes and Land. Let's put them in the right way. There we go. And his innards here I forgot those so let's pick something for the inside of our little teddy bear. I want something really light, probably like, let's go 40, where's that, uh, 41 and 42, E41 and E42, so we'll just do it super light and super quick, because I don't want this to be too dark, there we go, and come in with the 42, little shading there. We'll do a little shading around the bottom and then done. A nice little belly. That's what I was going to say. Now I remembered. Okay. Yeah. So I went into co-op today, grocery store, because I couldn't get uh, my spaghetti squash and whatever else, my corn on the cob, um, at the other store we were at. So I went in there and they have a beautiful floral department and in their floral department, they had all the little ty bears of course right oh they had you guys they had a llama unicorn oh my god i was like oh my god and L ola is laughing at me because here i go again right squirreling and oh you know what i got this one flocking from pink and main that's got this is sparkling fuzzy monster but Look at that flocking. I don't know how much glitter we're going to get there, but we'll see, you know, whatever. Um, anyway, that we'll put on after. So I was looking at this little llama. Oh, he was so cute. But there was just something about his face. He was a little bit off. You know how you kind of got to go through them and decide which one is kind of cuter than the other, you know, which one you'd like, which one speaks to you type thing. And there was no other ones. That's how popular it was, I guess, because that was the only one and I didn't get them because there was only one. So I left the poor little llama there. Um, I find that when I use my brother, it leaves a little lip kind of around the edge of my stamps. Um, and I don't like that. It's the same thing you get when you use a slide trimmer to cut your cardstock. You know that little lip you feel? I hate that. So... I'm just getting rid of that right now. Might as well get rid of it on this guy too. And then we have to go on you as well and do the little white because once I do the little white marks, I just want it to be super, super dry. When I do the white marks, I'm gonna put, when the card is finished, I'm gonna put um, 
uh, my, probably my, I think I'm going to pull out my Nuvo clear, um, whatever stuff you call that. Anyway, I'll probably pull that out. And then these guys, I'll do the flocking when it's on there. We'll do the stickles when it's on. And we'll do this when it's on. And I didn't stamp my sentiments. Oh my gosh. That's okay. I'll figure it out. So let's take this out or it makes everything dark for you guys. Hello, Lynn. There we go. Lynn's a little late, but you know what? That's okay. No big deal. It's National Teddy Bear Day, and we've got our little circus friends here putting on a cute little show. Oh, no, you got to stay with her, honey. Actually, I should have um, chopped these first because I could use. I try to discipline myself. Why can't, why can't I discipline myself with dimensionals but not with food? <laughs> why can I tell myself, Cindy Lynn, you can only pull out a new set of dimensionals once you've used up all your dimensionals. And I'm like, I'm okay with that. I don't argue with myself. I'm like, okay, I got it. No problem. And I do. I use up all the outside before I pull out a new one. So why then can I not be so diligent and intent, like disciplined with other things like spending? You can only like, okay, here's another one. Somebody was telling me they have this thing. They can only watch their favorite show if they get on the treadmill and watch it. I'm like, <laughs> my mother doesn't live here. I can do what I want. And I'm certainly not going to tell myself, you can only watch 90 Day Fiance if you're on the treadmill. You know what I mean? Or The Bachelorette or whatever it is. Um, a lot of drama this year on The Bachelorette, hey? Anyway, moving on. But, okay, so these guys, they're all good. Now we shall put our card fronts together. Let's glue our, oh, I moved, nope, there it is. I was going to say, I moved my glue because I was helping Nikolai. I glued in. I let him pick out of my cards. It's for Ola. It's going to a good cause. What? No, 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 no. Not the case. I'm talking about the big drawer storage thing. It's brand new. I have I have affiliate at Walmart. If it's like that, I have the case, the marker case. I want the new table and I'm hoping that my my switch will sit on top of it actually or I could sit it over here and put these on top of it that would work too I don't care what I have to do I want that thing I mean I just love it I think it's awesome okay there so foiling on um pattern cardstock and actually this isn't really cardstock it's I forgot to link this one for you guys. Pretty in, no, I didn't use that one. That's why I forgot to link it. It's this one. No, it's this one. Yes, it is. Pretty in plaid. Pretty in plaid. Did I not write that one down on my thing last night? I try to write everything down. The new case that I'm after from Tombow is $69.99 retail. So if you have a look at that one, you'll see it's got drawers. It all pulls out. It comes with all the stickers so that you can put all the stickers along your drawers where all your colors go and the stickers are all colored. And it's like one long strip of stickers too. So, you know, for us people that have OCD and want everything nice and straight, it's like if you have Stampin' Up! Um, pads, ink pads, I don't have any anymore, but those, I used to get so anal. They had to be so straight. And if it wasn't straight, it was coming off and I was doing it again. Or like the stamp, the stickers on the back of your stamps. I had to give up on that at some point. I was like, okay, I just have to, I just have to succumb to the fact that these will never, ever always be perfectly straight. Right? So yeah, get over it, Cindy Lynn. Isn't that pretty with the foiling on here? Now you can also, don't forget, you can use embossing powder and if you go to pink and main i've got a link for pink and main right here at my kit.co um right there under my favorite shops look at their embossing powders because she has got so many colors i actually uh i think they're in my unboxing over there i just picked up a bunch so my sentiment is going to be you're the main event in my life so let's heat emboss this 
I may not get to my second card. I may have to wait and see the picture because I may not get to that. I didn't think coloring was going to take me quite that long. So let me see my black, what I've got here for black. Uh, I think I need a new piece of black. Oh, there's a piece. Perfect. Okay, let's get some destatification. Now, stay tuned because I have gone and bought, I think I have 11 white embossing powders, 11 or 12, and I don't know how many destatification items. Uh, I bought every one I could find over the course of the last, oh, I've been at it since before I went to the scrapbook carnival, so I've been at it for a few months collecting all of these things because I am going to do, I am going to determine and find out once and for all which is the best white embossing powder and destatification combination, right? Because I am so sick to death of, oh, you know, the stragglers, the hitchhikers, the little guys that just will not come off. The will nots. The will nots. There's a t-shirt. That's okay, Miss Sandra. No problemo. Now I need this. Oh, and this here, I got to tell you guys, this, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know what the heck the shimmer is supposed to do. I've tried it with clear. I've tried it clear on black, clear on white. I've tried it so many different ways. You know what I use this for now? I use this for when, <laughs> for when I don't want this one to get yucky. <laughs> That's when I use this one. And as you can see, it's quite getting yucky already. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Not sure what they were intending with that one, Sukininko, but I wasn't that impressed. So if you saw that in my unboxing, I was so excited about it. And now I'm like, I don't know what the deal with that was. I was kind of, it was very anticlimactic anyway. I was very underwhelmed. So here, this is what gets me. Look at, look at, I hate it. And look how hard I'm blowing so hard on it. And then see this, look at it. I hate that. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. So let's put even more destatification here. Okay. Can you guys see all of that going on there? Like there's a lot. So look at that. There's so much. I'm trying to not put it over top of that, though, because it's sticky. See it all? And it'll do it again. And it just, I'm going to probably, oh, you know what? Hold on. It's probably not a smart idea. Yeah. That is just like, oh, this burns my butt. I hate it. So let me just close this for a moment and get most of these gone so I can... And I'll stand here for 10 minutes sometimes. Are you guys like that? I stand here forever trying to get these little stragglers off. And it's like, oh, I hate it. I will not emboss with too many there. Like if there's a few, I'm like, okay, I can handle that. Because I can just go in with a little black marker you know, and just kind of put little, little tiny little dots over top. But this is out of control. <sighs> now I wiped off some of my white. I'll have to go in with my <sighs> Secura gel pen. This is just out of control. I might have to do one and do another sentiment after because this is, this is subpar. And this here combination, just so you know. And I don't know if it's the destatification or it's the um, em, uh, embossing powder. This is Brutus Monroe Alabaster White, which I got because all the Jennifer Maguires of the world use it. And I was like, well, if she's using it, then it's got to be good. But I have yet to ever get a really good, um, a really good go without all of the little stragglers everywhere. And I don't know. I'm going to bring it up so you guys can see. Let me just focus here. So, I mean, well, you can't really see too many of them. Okay, I'll just heat it. I'll just heat it. Oh, Ruby, 
That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm going to show you right after I'm finished this, okay? I'm going to show you. I find that it's hardest with photopolymer. I find that I don't get so much of an issue when I use red rubber. So, I don't know. Oh, there's... Oh, well, it's been melted now. I got one that's really bad. I don't like that. Oh, well, whatever. Um... Once you're done, I don't care what anybody says. It's so, so simple. I'm going to show you easy peasy how to get it off. But I'm going to pull out my black Tombow marker. And I'm just going to kind of go and just put little tiny dots over top. No, I want the Stampin' Up! one. Where's my Stampin' Up! one? I find my Stampin' Up! one is, is it's, it leaves more color behind than the Tombow does. So you just kind of go in. Go over top those little areas where those happened. Okay, chamois. Wipe it off. It's just as black now as it was when I started. Okay, so that's all you got to do. Just wipe it off with a chamois. And the other thing you might want to consider if you're having a hard time with all of the dust and it's looking smoky. Think about what kind of cardstock you're using, okay? Because if your cardstock is a very porous cardstock, like for instance, Stampin' Up! If you look at the Stampin' Up! cardstock and you feel it, like it's, if you had a magnifying glass, like a microscope, it's like hills and valleys type thing, okay? There's all kinds of places for the embossing powder to stick. This here, Recollections, I get this at Michael's, and buy it when it's buy one, get one half off, or buy one, get one free, whatever it is. The Recollection 65 pound black because when you're doing mats, there's absolutely no reason to use a 80 pound cardstock to do a mat, right? And when you're doing your little sentiments, why do you need a, a 80 pound cardstock? So now um, that I'm using another company's papers, they could have colors in 100 pound and stuff, and I'll buy that. And actually, no, because the recollection comes in 100 pound. So I'm getting all my black right now through recollection. I am also, you guys, really working hard trying to find a new vendor for paper because I don't know. I started using this, um, this here. Uh, I'm going to do this one first the accent paper so long ago and then everybody started catching on to it it just seemed like the craft the stamping world everybody started using it you know so now with the pandemic i thought there was an issue with you know um supply or something and i found one today no lie i found one today on amazon uh the eight uh, 110 pound white that i like it was 416 dollars because what happens is, if you ever see prices like that, I'll tell you what's going on. What's going on is when you list an item on Amazon or on Walmart, you know, the, the Walmart online, there's an algorithm for supply and demand, okay? So once the item um, starts to sell out and there may only be a couple left, the algorithm kicks in and it automatically raises the price. So it's all based on how much it's searched, how popular it is, how much is left. So this particular one skyrocketed up to 400 and some dollars. And I was like, you guys are on crack. Like, does anybody really? Oh, I shouldn't have said that family channel. <laughs> Sorry, but that's what I thought. I was like, seriously, come on. No. So, I mean, Nina's great card stock. And I did buy some Nina because that was going out too. You can't find the solar white. So I thought, well, I got to do something here. So I bought some of that just as a backup because I had some um, of one of them anyway. Now I just got to figure out how I want this to look. So I think I want it to be you're the, and then cut the main event. Yeah, I want to cut the main event here. I just wanted something simple because even though it's National Teddy Bear Day, I'm using teddy bears. But what I want you guys to look at is how easy this is to make. And you're loving it, but this is great for a masculine card, okay? So you're the main event in my life, like that. And this guy is going to be a little wonky. This guy is going to be a little wonky. And then there. I don't know. I feel like it's missing something. 
I might have to think about it more. I feel like it's missing something. Are those DT scissors? These are Fiskars. They're also in my kit.co. They're micro tip. And I have a pair that I've had for over, it's got to be going on 20 years. And they are still as pointy and I've never, ever, ever um, sharpened them or anything like that. The only reason I bought these is because they're pink and they're prettier for my videos. <laughs> Other than the orange ones that are starting to cut. They're starting to wear a little bit here, but uh, yeah. So, um, are you using Versamark and then inking it? I did ink it with Versamark. And you know, it's funny because I've tried the Craft White as well. And I don't find that it, you know, the impression, the white, it, it, I don't find that it makes that much of a difference. What bothers me is all that white all around it, right? So maybe I'll do it. I wonder what happens if we do it this way. Let's see what happens if we go this way. I'm just looking at this thinking, maybe, maybe, baby, we go this way. You're the main event in my life. You're the main event. I don't know. I feel like it's missing something. So I'm going to have to think about it. And I guess you'll just have to see it on Instagram. Because any suggestions? Anybody got any ideas? Uh, let me see if I missed anything. Baby powder. There you go. Sharon uses baby powder. Uh, Ruth found something. Now she wants it. I don't know what she found. But anyhow, all right, well, we're a few minutes over, but I'm not sure what I'm going to, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to frame these guys in. I'll show you what I mean really quick. I'll see if I like it. I don't know if I'll like it or not. Just kind of like maybe right about, I got to trim this side because that side, ah, wait, hold on. Okay, there. And I'm probably about right there. Something like this here, here, and here. I don't know. And then frame that in a little bit more too. Now I don't like the black here. Maybe if I straighten these up and move them down here a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I love the background though. <laughs> so I'm kind of obsessed with this. I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys. I may have to pull out a tent. Maybe if we pull out the tent, it'll kind of like all come together. I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure. These are only $4 right now at My Favorite Things. So there's links down below. Um, if you see GL or um, LD, I think, I don't know, whatever. Those are my created links, and I, I sent them directly to where you need to go. SSS is Simon Says Stamp. SB is scrapbook.com. There is a Simon Says Stamp link. You can use that link if these sell out for $4 over at My Favorite Things because they are on their way out the door. Once they're gone, they're gone. Um, new Tombow case. I want it. I want it. But anyhow, thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget, Friday, uh, tomorrow actually, is the Bestie event, which is my favorite event of the entire month. That's when we all get to talk back and forth to one another. You can come in with video or just audio or whatever. It's just one night we were we were there till one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we, uh, we 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 tend to stamp quite late on those days, so I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. I love that event. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite out of all the events. And then next Friday is Free for All Friday, and all buddies and Inky Besties, everybody gets to come to that. And if you join on the website on the first of August, you can get an entire month. For free no code needed um yeah so that's it so hopefully we see all kinds of new channel or website members i want to say channel members if you're on the channel head over to the website so you are welcome jeanette you are welcome linda i don't know what's going to happen with the card but i guess we'll have to see you'll have to look on instagram and until i 